Hey there, Morbid Maniacs. It's time for another spooky video. And before I get into the video, I just wanted to say that I got a new camera and a new light. I have a ring light now. And I'm still trying to like work all this out, figure out how to use it. So bear with me. I have a new video editor as well, which I have to learn how to use. And my new camera has a... Uh, screen so now I can see what I'm doing which means I'm probably gonna be staring at myself more than I'm staring at you guys I'll try not to do that <laughs> and I moved my little I moved Larry and all his little friends over here next to my Annabelle poster until me and my boyfriend get this room situated the way that we want it to be also it's very cold because our furnace is out again if you guys follow me on Twitter, you probably already seen. I think I tweeted about it. But yeah, we're using little heaters right now to stay warm. And I didn't want to have that going in the background because I didn't want you guys to hear it. So, Annabelle blanket is the way to go for now. Okay, so let's get into the video. So tonight's spooky video is going to be about the legend of the Kelpie. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Now, this was a request from my friend. I don't know if I'm gonna say your name right. I'm sorry if I'm gonna butcher it. Yeah, so this was a request from my friend Kieran. A Scottish folklore, a Kelpie is a shape-shifting spirit which resides in lakes and large bodies of water in Scotland. It often appears in the form of a beautiful black horse. One of the most common identifying characteristics is that its hooves are turned backwards aside from a normal horse's. It is sometimes seen with a mane of serpents. The Kelpie may take on the form of a beautiful horse or a pony walking along the shore to seem more inviting to its victims. It's typically saddled and ready to ride just seeming like another regular pony who got lost from its people. However, it's a trick. If you get on a Kelpie's back, you may have a nice little ride there for a while, but eventually the Kelpie will plunge deep into the water. Kelpies are said to be horse spirits who were sacrificed at one point in their life. A Kelpie is also said to have magical powers associated with it. They are believed to have the strength of 10 normal horses. It is said that if you somehow capture a Kelpie's brittle, that you will have complete control over it. However, having control over a Kelpie is also said to be very dangerous. The spirits are somehow able to adhere a human's flesh to their own. And if it is somehow aimed at a particular person, it has the ability to turn them into a pony or a horse. Kelpie also has a tail which is so powerful that when it hits it against the water, it is followed by a clap of thunder. The resulting flood can drag a human into the water where a Kelpie will drag them to their death. Kelpies are also able to take on the form of a human. Some encounters have claimed that Kelpies tend to keep their hooves when they're in human form. And this has led many Christians to associate a Kelpie 
with the devil. A Kelpie is also often associated with the Loch Ness Monster. Some say the Kelpie can take on the form of a beautiful woman who is wearing all green with weeds on her hair sitting along the shore. But more often than not, they take on the form of a man. In one story, the Kelpie takes on the form of an old wizened man who is sitting on a bridge muttering to himself, stitching up a pair of pants. The man in the story, believing it to be a Kelpie, strikes it on the head, causing it to turn back into its normal form and go straight back into the water. Another tale describes the Kelpie appearing as an old shaggy man who will leap onto his victims, ripping and shredding them into pieces and ultimately devouring them. In some cases, the Kelpie will take on the form of a handsome young man to lure young women. The Kelpie will usually prey on any human which it encounters. The Kelpie is also able to extend its back to carry more victims at once. It loves drowning its victims and is also said to love human liver. Kelpies may plunge their victims deep into the water where they will eat them except for their livers which will float up to the surface of the water. Kelpies are known for abducting people, whether it be to drown them or to take them back to live among them where they will marry them, say it's a woman, and have their children. They may also abduct human women to be their midwives and wet nurses. Kelpies will also jump upon solitary riders to try and crush them. They are known to tear people into pieces. And they often also make sounds of thunder to frighten their victims. Kelpies can also be death omens to some, showing up to warn them of a death by drowning. A popular story which is associated with the legend of the Kelpie is that a group of children were playing by the water's edge. As the waves began forming in the ocean, they saw a beautiful black horse trotting in their direction. Excited to see such a beautiful horse, the kids ran over to it and began stroking it. It gets worse. They all got on... There's a piece of buzz. Okay. They all got on its back and attempted to ride it, all but for one friend who stayed on the ground beside of it. He looked up and touched the horse's neck to stroke it. As he did, his hand became stuck to the horse's neck. Coming terrified, the boy did everything he could to get his hand off this horse's neck. He was completely stuck. It was as if his hand had been super glued to the back of this horse's neck. As the horse began to pull him with the other children on his back, the boy decided that he had no other choice but to cut off his own hand. The horse returned not long after, taking off the children which were on its back with it. In freeing himself, the boy ran off to find help holding his severed hand and also searching for the other children. He waited by the water's edge for days. He could not find any sign of his friends and the children were never seen again. It is believed that if you do not return a brittle to a Kelpie within one day, it will die. Another known way to kill a Kelpie is to shoot it with a silver bullet, much like a werewolf, which will then cause it to turn into a jellyfish looking squishy mass. Using crosses and also saying Christ's name are other known ways to defend yourself against a Kelpie. So there was the legend of the Kelpie. What do you guys think? Thank you so much, Kyron, Kieran. I said at the beginning, Google Translate helped me and now I can't remember how to say your name. Thank you so much for requesting this video. If you guys have any requests or 
um, suggestions on videos that you'd like for me to make, feel free to leave a comment and let me know because I could always use some video content for you guys. And yeah, what do you guys think of this new camera quality? I am absolutely in love with it. Like this camera can zoom all the way into the craters on the moon. It is amazing. Like I am so excited to like film and um, I'm planning on making a new intro very soon for my channel when it starts warming up. So yeah, let me know what you guys think and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become a morbid maniac. And if you are not aware already, I now have a OnlyFans account, which I'm pretty sure if you're a returning subscriber by now you get the gist, where I will be posting all of my sexier content. So if you are interested in that, the link is always in the description box below so you can go check that out. Be sure to hit that little bell notification, that way you get updated every time I upload a new video. And I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next video.